800 pounds capacity. Now that's something we could test out. <laughs> now I gotta get rid of the ladder. Oh my guys. Oh my god. And hope it gets out of frame. I'm scared it's gonna roll out and tip the camper over. I want to suck your blood. <laughs> How am I supposed to get down? Innovative. In the end, it holds a lot of weight. Get there. Standing behind me, we have a Flagstaff Superlight 27 BHWS. Now the BH is gonna stand for bunkhouse, and the WS is gonna stand for, what's up, shawty? Dude, I don't know what the WS stands for. I asked around, nobody knows either, so maybe you have to do something with slides. We're gonna check it out, so let's go. On the outside here, you see your outside kitchen. You have a two burner cooktop that pulls out, and then you also have this fridge. You do have a place back here to store like spatulas and paper towels. Basically, all the shit that you would use to cook outside, you just put it here. Now next to that, you're gonna have these solid steps. Now, if you've watched my TikToks before, you know that I am literally in love with these solid steps. They are solid. They go up into the camper, super easy to store. Just pull them down. It's enough of a workout for me. Let's actually go inside and take a look at the interior. Stepping into the camper, the first thing you're gonna see to your right is this big pantry and your control panel. This pantry is big enough for me to go in. So that means it's pretty big. Okay, next you have your control panel. One of the things about Rockwood and Flagstaff is that they have this Wii RV control panel that you can control from your phone, which is really cool. Around the corner from your pantry, you're gonna have your entertainment center. So you have a smart TV, you have a sound bar, so you can get those beats bumping. You've got your fireplace, which is super sexy, and then you have a place to put your DVDs down below here. So if you still camp with DVDs, or maybe you're a person that invested way too much in Blu-ray, this would be the place to store everything. You've got some more storage up top here. Moving on to the kitchen, you see your huge fridge. Now this fridge is kind of like me, it swings both ways. You can go this way, you can go that way. You can have all the flavors, really. That's stupid. Oh! So, make sure it's locked on both sides. And this is honestly user error. I'm not gonna lie. Ah! Do we do it? We didn't do it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Not gonna be touching that again. Moving on to the stove. You have a three burner cooktop. I think it's a 21 inch oven that has little lights on it, which is pretty cool. Um, and then above it, you have your fan, your microwave. This microwave's a little bit small, but it's, it's a microwave. I use my microwave a lot because I don't know how to cook. So if you know how to cook, you probably don't use it as often as I do. Moving on to your sink, you have some drying racks, which is really cool. Comes with two of them. It is a one basin sink. You've got some storage down below, storage up above, which is like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is a lot of storage. If you didn't have enough counter space between this area right here, this is a little pop-up doodad, which is nice. Heading around the corner into the bedroom, this main bedroom has a large queen size bed. You do have storage underneath it, and it does have aluminum framing. All Rockwood and Flagstaff beds are gonna be aluminum framed, which is really, really important, especially if you're a fat ass like me. You do have some drawers underneath as well. And then in the slide out here, you have even more storage. So you have shelves here. And then on the other two cabinets, you have hanging. So if you have some super important business wear that you need to wear camping, you can hang it up. Your suit will not get crinkled, I swear. So this bed is really comfy. Um, you have pillows that come with it, comforter that comes with it. You have storage up above here. And then you have a blackout shade that covers that front window, which 
I love. You also see that you have chargers over here. You got a little bit of storage down under. So if you're an old fart, you can have like your CPAP machine down underneath here. I think eventually I'm gonna need one of those, but whatever. Heading out of the bedroom into the living room area, you're gonna see your U-shaped dinette. Now, if you know my videos before, you know that I love U-shaped dinettes. The smaller dinettes are just not for my body shape, okay? So I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to put this into a bed and to eat. You're gonna push it out. You're gonna slide in here and then you're gonna pull it into you. Who knew it could be that easy? Now, let's turn this sucker into a bed. Aha! Got it. Oh, and that's it, really. I could even spoon my skinny white boyfriend, Kyle. Look, I could scoot back even more. I mean, hello. Now I said it once and I'll say it a million times after this little piece unnecessary it is so unnecessary i can't even sit in it if this thing it's gonna move i mean you know how bad that makes me feel look you already have two cup holders over here this piece right here not needed <coughs> oh that is so much better okay you've got overhead storage it is directly across from your entertainment center, which is really nice. Now the bathroom on this camper is tucked away in the back left-hand corner. So you have your sink over here, you have your medicine cabinet, and then you have a window. Underneath you have even more storage and some shelves down here. So taking a closer look at the shower, it is pretty roomy. I mean, if you step up into it, I can definitely do my circles. You've got a cute little mesh thing here to hold Oh, I got a little dizzy. <laughs> you have a cute little mesh thing up here so you can hold all your shampoo. This does hold a full bar of soap because you always need to do the soap test and the wipe test in the bathroom. I know this sounds so stupid, but bring the soap that you would use when you're going camping to the dealership when you're looking at campers. Make sure it fits because if it doesn't fit, that's just one less thing that's going to piss you off, really. Because there's going to be things when you get your camper that's just going to be like, why didn't I think of that? This is one of those things. So we open this trifold glass shower and then looking down at the toilet it is porcelain too can i wipe my fat ass yes yes i can before i climb my fat ass all over these bunks i will point out that there is storage over here so if you have those like really cool electric bikes that old people are using nowadays you can put them there if you have kayaks you can put them there it could even be like a place for somebody else to sleep. So if your kids actually have friends, you can have them sleep underneath. To be honest, if a camper has bunks and you're a kid, this is just gonna be amazing because any kid's gonna be like, space just for me. I don't have to sleep on the dinette anymore. You actually care about my feelings and you're validating them. They're like, no, we're using it for storage. <laughs> this is really cool to a kid. They're gonna love it. Me being in here, not a fan. But if it was for one night and I was like drunk, I could stay the night for one night. But getting in and out, you got me fucked up. How the hell am I supposed to get out of here? I wish this moved, but it's bolted. You guys, I think I might actually be stuck. We found the ground. We're good. <sighs> So if you guys found this video at least a little bit entertaining, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, because I love to be validated, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. I need my step stool.